Hi, let's do the initial setup of Palo Alto firewall. So that's the firewall version 10. Select this one. Palo Alto firewall can be managed from the management port only. So I create this default network from here. I'm gonna connect it with the Palo Alto management port. Save it. And another network I'm gonna use for ISP start this firewall this firewall takes a lots of time just to start so let's wait so default username is admin and default password is admin and we have to change the password in the beginning so if you click on the firewall here it started so it will take like another three to four minutes so I'm still waiting for the IP address if you, I will type admin as a username and admin as a password it will say incorrect admin password is admin it's gonna say incorrect but this is normal it will still take like another one to one or two minutes so after that I will see a one IP address on the screen and I can access this firewall from that IP address and even after that this admin username and password will work screen reset automatically to the default one but still waiting for the IP or if you, uh, we can try admin username and password but I'm sure it will not work so we have to wait okay so I received an IP address 86.157 so when I, I have to type HTTPS 192.157 enter it advance proceed now this IP is working here so if I will click over here password admin like login name admin default password is admin so now it will ask me to change the password you see and the same thing it will happen here admin admin so I need to change the password new password is capital A D M I N at the rate one two three capital A D M I N at the rate one two three change password login so now I need to login with the new password capital A D M I N at the rate one two three So this is the default screen which you will see this is dashboard so my device name is Palo Alto Virtu VM management IP from where we are accessing this firewall is 86.157 that's the default uh, gateway 86.2 so that's it management IP model is Palo Alto virtual machine serial number I do not have because it, this is a dummy firewall CPU ID and UUID these two we need it when we have to activate this firewall via Palo Alto web portal so we have to type these two information it will generate one code and it will send an email we can use that code so this is a virtual machine software version is 10 global protect protect agent that we use for the Palo Alto client to client VPN 
Okay, then that's only in the widget we can make the changes. Widget system interface it will start showing the interface if you click on the high a high availability it, there is nothing there logs url filtering this not there we can even drag and drop it anywhere okay or we can close it just by clicking the right click okay so now this is our account monitor like here we can check all the like logs like uh, traffic log threat log url filtering logs like everything will you, you can see here global protect agent or session browser all the live logs policy here we have to create the policy like security by default these two default policy inter zone and intra zone and if, wh what does it mean inter zone it is gonna deny like anything and intra zone within the network it gonna allow that's the netting we have to do from here we can create netting we, we're gonna do it so this is the object like this is very most of the time we use when we in the production like all the time we have to do like play around with this and uh, anti spyware URL filtering so this is the one like by default from the company from Palo Alto like by default profile if you want to uh, like customize our profile we can do it from the custom profile like from URL category we can create our own custom URL filtering and we can uh, link it to the existing one and even in the object you that's the thing application group address group if you go on the network you can see like all the details here like uh, interfaces all the interfaces gonna you can see here one two three four up to eight interface zone there is like uh, any zone is available because Palo Alto Fire will work on the zones like it's like a trust zone untrust zone or like one zone to a second zone it is allowed or not that's the only things so that's like VLAN we can create from here or virtual wire interface virtual router default virtual router IP tunnel and GRE tunnel we use it like when you create site to site tunnel or client to site tunnel global protect our uh, agent that's the portal we can use create a portal for the global protect network profile like these are like high key crypto one gateway like we use it for creating the VPN if you go on the devices we can see the basic setups here okay if you go on the bottom we can see the license but this is a dummy firewall you are, we are not gonna see anything but uh, if you have to activate license we can like activate feature using authorization code the, we receive a code from the Palo Alto we can use it here that's the thing it's uh, Palo Alto firewall is very easy to activate if we have our uh, like the po we have our portal Palo Alto portal account then okay that's the one like this is a if you go on the top it is like a local user database like we can e create our own database to authenticate the user suppose we if we don't have the LDAP server to authenticate we can create here like we can create any user account when that user will try to log in it will authenticate the user is present password is the same then it will allow if we have to create the ad, uh, like if you go on the top this is like certificate management we can create a certificate here like by clicking on the generate and yeah, that's the thing certificate profile we can create if uh, that's the on the top we can see like data user identification this we use it like when we integrate uh, any server or any third party network with the Palo Palo Alto normally I use it for the LDAP integration then this is like another authentication profile like we can create a profile for like different purpose or admin administrator right now there is only one user admin if you create another user username admin1 password123 confirm password123 and I want to ok invalid password require minimum 8 length so we need to we can change the password length by clicking on the setup in the setup we have option here minimum password capacity click on this gear I, I and minimum length should be 3 no complexity no uppercase lowercase ok and 
yeah that's another thing yeah so okay we are here now on the setup so click on the gear icon here so host name like this one like pf firewall i'm, I'm gonna change it to uh, until firewall login banner we can use it be careful while accessing this firewall this is private property and the time zone we can select it from here like I'm in the Canada so we can select a Canada Central locate or latitude longitude we can put just to check it okay so host name we change time zone we change after uh, all these things we have we can create like a commit and we have to do this one so we can close it before committing no pending so if we have to check like our commit has been successful we can click on this task here this task option will show like our commit has been successful or not it's going on 55 percent has been completed auto comp auto commit this one like when we change the password that was the first commit we did this is the second commit and it was done by admin start time what time uh, who ma made the changes and here we can say clear commit queue this is another thing like any uh, like pending commits are there or 99% done commit has been successful now completed close so if you go on the dashboard I can see like the firewall name has been changed to the until firewall if you will log out and login back we can see our banner admin capital A T M I N at the one two three you see be careful while accessing the file as this is a private property so that was our login banner if you go on the device another thing we, we can check it here like we can add the domain name like same we have to like click on this option gear button it will edit this is the panorama server it is what it gonna do like suppose we have like a three or five different fire uh, firewall in the different location and we have to manage like all of them so we can link all those firewalls to like our panorama server and from the panorama we can log into the panorama server and we can make the changes if we have to make a change in all the firewalls so at the place of going each firewall we can make the change on the panorama server server and it will affect all the firewalls so here we can do like another changes like banner message of the day if you click on setting message of the day anything is okay so, uh, we made changes last night bk p uh, please review title should be message of the day background color we can change it to the red color or any color whatever we, we want header and banner we can select it okay click the commit <coughs> commit it it will go on the back end so <coughs> that's another this one is like main uh, important tool here like in the admin this is the super user so it has all the power to make the changes in the firewall so if I go click here add a new account admin 1 password I'm gonna use 123 confirm password 123 and I'm gonna use it as a super user or super user read only like these are like by default uh, roles are assigned to these profiles so if I go on the super user read only so it is like an admin account and it can only read only it cannot like make the changes password profile we can create a like new password profile 
like uh, after how much time the password will expire when he will start receiving the notification like your password has been expired so click on the ok I created a new and uh, now let's create another account intern one or we see like in our company like level one or technician so admin name is level one technician authentication profile I haven't integrated anyone password I'm gonna use one two three now this password will work one two three the reason like I have changed the password complexity role like this is like super user or we can customize our role so you click on the role base create a new profile new admin profile intern profile or yeah let's go with the intern profile we cannot use space so okay yeah these are like the custom profile we can change for the intern so I want intern they cannot see the this policy and object so it will be like completely disappear these two tabs and in the network I just want them they can see anything but they cannot see the interfaces how many interfaces and what IP address is assigned to the interface that's the only thing I want to look for them okay okay let's change this name intern intern one password one two three okay so yeah, that's the one. if we go on the authentication admin roles I can see like intern profile is there we can all the time make the changes from there too like from this profile like if you want to make another change like they can see uh, all the thing in the network we can go here on the network and we can like uh, un unblock this one unlock this one so for the moment I want to take a lock this one okay commit and okay yeah that's the thing we have to select all that time commit changes made by me only if you will select this one let's suppose another technician is on this firewall and he made the change without his concern we are committing all those changes so select this one all the time commit and we can close it on the back end it will continue work so while this commit gets changed successful so I'm gonna create uh, some nodes here virtual PC this is like a simple topology I'm just creating so So I want to configure a 1.100 IP on the Ethernet 1 slash 2. So okay, I think I click on the task. Yeah, our change uh, commit has been successful. Log out. Now login back with the name admin1, which has only read-only permission password 123. Okay. close this one so this user has only read only per permission if you click on the admin one we can see like uh, our user uh, login username is admin one so let's go on the network or device let's see like does he can create any account administrator no this add option has been grayed out he cannot make any changes so yeah that's only he has read only permission let's log out and login back with uh, intern so 
now I'm logging as intern one and I can see like all the options has been disappeared so there's only one option here network if you go on the network So what I did like in the he cannot make the changes on the interfaces. This has been local. So if we go on the network and we can click on the interface, add interface. Like this, uh, if even we tap anything, we cannot make the changes. Okay, let's select this interface. Okay, and if you click on the add sub interface, this option has been grayed out. So I cannot add anything. And that's our intern one logout login back with the, our admin profile capital A D M I N at one two three so if you see like it say like any interface who is enabled it will show as a green so on device setup if you have to configure a high HA configuration we can do it from here or in the setup we can go and make the like these are like services what are the service use like ser uh, service root configuration we can customize by default it's going to take the management interface as as an uh, default interface if you go on the interface there is no interface configure only one interface is configured as a management interface, telemetries, all other different options. So, okay, so we have to configure 1.100 on Ethernet 1 slash 2. So, click on the network interface, Ethernet 1 slash 1. So I want to make it as an interface type layer 3. Layer 3 we use whenever we have to configure IP address. Layer 2 it work with the MAC address and HA and virtual wire we use it for uh, another purpose. So for the moment I'm going to use layer 3. Virtual router I'm going to use it, it as a default virtual router. Security zone I'm going to use it create a new zone and name the name trust. Okay. IPv4 address I can assign it here 192.168.1.100 slash 24 IPv6 address we, if we want to assign SD1 advanced setup so in the advance I want to use as in the management profile as a ping just for the testing purpose new management profile and what services I want to use like any like I, I can access this interface from HTTP HTTPS telnet sss or ping i will use a ping If you go on the dashboard, we can see like Ethernet 1 slash 2. This one has been, uh, it's, it's shown nothing here. So I'm just waiting to successfully commit. Once it will done complete, once it will complete, then 1 slash 2 will come up as a green. If you go on the network interface, It's loading it's taking time yeah we can see like this uh, link state is uh, green so if this is uh, activated now port is enabled with IP address 1.100 1 in the trust zone if you go on the dashboard and we can see like it will be turn green now Ethernet 1 slash 1 has been turned green 
yeah that's the only thing for as a for a basic setup